Ladies, what would you do if you found out your man was batting for the other team? Well, that's what this young woman has found out after she went through her partner's phone. Now, as a total aside note, I don't think you should be going through your partner's phone, either male or female. I'm definitely one of the believers that like to think whatever they're doing in the dark will surely come to light. And let me tell you, this definitely came to light. You already know what to do. Go ahead and pour up a libation, sit back and kick back with your boy Roy. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Oh, when I say I'm literally shaking, I'm literally shaking. So I just went through my man's phone again and I see he got text messages between him and some named Chantel talking about what's up, boo. Talk about I'm the baby mama. First of all, no, I'm not. I'm his whole ass girlfriend. Okay. Am I the first guy you ever been with? I was kind of scared to act on it. Y'all see this shit? Especially our first kiss. You'll get one later when we get to the gym. Oh, hell no. He got some explaining to do. Mm -mm. Hello? Excuse me. Hey, get up. Get up. I just looked through your phone and I saw some messages and I need to an answer. Hmm? Get up. I just looked through your phone and I saw some messages. Who the f is Chantel? What? Who is Chantel? You said, what's up, boo? And she talking about that you just only hitting her up because something about a baby mama? So I'm just your baby mama now? I ain't never seen nothing like that. What are you talking about? Bruh, I saw the messages. <sighs> Who is Chantel? She ain't nobody. Mm-hmm. That's the best that you got? I mean, she ain't, she ain't nobody. Okay, whatever. I don't believe you. You're a liar. I'm sick of you lying and cheating and manipulating me. Nobody's cheating. Okay. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. Okay, sweetie. All right. All of that. Who? It's not even... That's when you know you fucked up. <laughs> when a woman goes, all right, sweetie. Okay, she gets all sweet in the middle of an argument. Fam, you just lost. I say I'm cheating. Okay, I don't care. The fact is you still entertaining when you said that you was going to stop. I don't care about none of that. Who the hell is Derek? <gasps> Derek, that's my dog. That's your dog? You yes, sure? Yes. So why y'all got messages talking about the first kiss? <laughs> <laughs> already. Already off rip. Holy fuck. Listen. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with some shit like this. First of all, if you like if if you're a fan of you know that kind of extracurricular shit then dog by all means go for it but what's really fucked up is the fact that you're putting a cisgendered is that even the right terminology i don't know there's too many terminologies out here but the fact that you're putting her health at risk because you're doing all this extra shit is mind-blowing to me mind-blowing and on top of that like why <laughs> what, what is the point I, I there's nothing there's nothing else i could really say in this particular instance right now except for the fact that not only did he get caught cheating with a female he also got caught cheating with a male dog i think at some point you got to make up your mind I'm, listen i'm not king shaman i know a lot of you out there are, you know defenders of this kind of shit by all means if you want to defend it defend it but at the end of the day you're putting straight people's health at risk because Let's say, God forbid, she were to contract something. Now she might pass it on to someone who might be entangled with her. Who knows? So you now? What are you talking about? <laughs> so you finna act stupid. Read the messages. He said something about he couldn't forget y'all first kiss and you talking about when you see him at the gym later that you're gonna get another one? That's so crazy. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the What's up? Like, explain these messages, because I'm really trying to understand. I'm not I don't know how to explain it right now. Well, I need to understand. You know that you putting my health at risk? You see? If you just say that, why do you have messages? But I'm not like So why are y'all messaging each other about kissing and shit? Bro, hurry up. You, you, you gotta go. I need an answer. You, you gotta go, regardless. Was going through a lot and it was just somebody that, that was just he was just helping me that's it that was all helping you with what homie nah listen i lost two brothers right and when i lost both my brothers i was hanging out with my friends a lot right but i wasn't kissing them and again i'm not using myself as the example for stuff like that people go through things all, all the time and how they deal with it ultimately comes down to the individual but i mean 
you got a girl at home. Why not talk to her about these things? Unless he was going through it with her, which then again, I could understand why he probably wouldn't share that information because, you know, he's sharing how he feels with the person he's in a conflict with. That I could potentially understand. But all this extra shit where, you know, you, you're talking to your guy friends and now you guys are, are in a, like a romantic entanglement. Ah, this is just messy in my personal opinion. It was, it wasn't nothing like, it wasn't nothing. So as long as we've been together, you feel like you couldn't come to me? You couldn't talk to me about the situation? I mean, no, not really. I couldn't talk to you because you were just always so busy. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's a excuse. So guess what? You can get your clothes and you can get out. Come on. Damn, his shit get just came out the wash. Out. I'm sick of this shit, for real. Damn, his shit just came out the wash. Hurry up, <laughs> you're not moving quick enough. Let's go. You see how you're not even taking it serious, but I'm trying to tell you about. I don't, I don't want to hear it, sweetie, because I've always been in your corner. I've always been the shoulder that you could cry on, but obviously you don't trust me. So get. Cat came in like, the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> out. I don't know, but let's go. Come on, you move it too quick. You move it too slow. Let's go. Where's my keys at? I don't know, but guess what? I'll help you find them. Oh, here they are. Mm. Come on. Come on, catch your keys like the dog that you are. Go fetch. Hey, I don't have nowhere to go. I don't give a damn. You can ask Derek. You can ask Chantel, whoever. I don't. Man, I told you I'm not just no, you're not we're done. I'm, I don't want to talk about it no more. We're done. Oh, Hurry please. up. Go down the stairs before I call the police. I'm so serious. Hurry up before I have my brothers come over here and beat your ass. Let's go. Knees to chest, you're not moving quick. You're not moving quick enough. I'm done. I'm over you. I'm so sick of this shit. Babe, babe, I'm trying to tell you it wasn't babe, nothing like that. Babe, my ass. Let's go. I'm goodbye. 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 Get the out. You dog ass, ass. Oh my god, bro. I'm so sick and tired of this shit. Like for real. I thought I'd been with him for all these years. He over here texting and talking about kissing and shit, what? At the end of the day, if you're going through something just in general, right? It's always good to be open and honest and transparent about it. But when you are running behind your partner's back, doing all of these things, and now you're switching and you're, you know, you're batting for the other team. There has to be something, there has to be some sort of like mediation. There's got to be some form of intervention because not only are you not fixing the problem that you're currently going through by doing all this extracurricular activity with someone else, but you're putting her health at risk. And you know, to be quite honest, the trend of playing both sides or whatever the case may be, listen, again, if that's your thing, that's your thing. But the reality is, you are putting someone else's health at risk. And that's serious. That's serious. We try to act like STDs aren't a thing. We try to destroy this, the stigma of STDs. Listen, you could ruin someone's fucking life by acting irresponsibly and handling situations in an uncouth manner like such. Ain't nothing else for me to say, man. I, I guess so far as you know that the guy you're with is playing for both sides and you're cool with it then cool but all i'm saying is you need to be careful because you never know what could happen what could transpire from his interactions with someone on the same team or gentlemen vice versa to be quite honest you know um again this isn't me kink shaming or trying to bash people for liking what they like if that's what you like then by all means like what you like all i'm saying is i think your partner has the right to know that you like to do those extracurriculars because they need to have the option to want to continue to fuck with you if that is the case. Because if not, and you give them something and they had no idea, you have just ruined their life. And for what? For literally nothing. That's all I got to say about this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your engagement. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.